Welcome to the second day of the 2016 Bacardi Miami Sailing Week and Bacardi Cup, home to a unique gathering of the world's top sailors. The packed race program and fiercely competitive racing are a massive draw for all the teams. No wonder they return each year to contest this superb regatta. Here we are with 72 boats, seven world champions, and it's a boat with lots of tradition. Difficult to sail because we have a very soft mast, very sensible boat, but that's why the SAR class brings its mystery, tradition, style, and the last for 105 years. After the grand opening and an intense first day at Biscayne Bay, competitors tried to recover the lost ground and fought back in tricky and gusty conditions. Although Grail and Almeida recovered well from yesterday's mast loss, they missed second place in the last upwind leg and ended up finishing fourth. Diaz and Prada managed third place for the race and also reached the third step of the podium overall. The winners of race one, Staniek and Clean, continued to challenge the fleet and claimed second place for the race and so control the Starfleet overall scoreboard for one more day. First to cut the finish line in today's racing was the usual suspect Negri and his crew Lambertengi. With only 19 points between the first 10 places, the game is really on. Uh, competition this year is very high level. I don't know how many world champions are on the, the Golden Star are on the starting line and everybody is trying to, to get ready for the worst that will be in three weeks after the, the finish of the Bacardi. So Bacardi is an historical event and uh, always, there's always a good fleet in old style regatta with two miles upwind and six races, so people like that. And, and this year because of the worst for sure there is a, there is a very high level fleet. 70 boats on the starting line is, is important. Don't miss the third day of the 2016 Bacardi Miami Sailing Week and Bacardi Cup as exciting racing continues in Miami, Florida.